Hello guys and welcome to my channel and also to another episode of algorithm solving. So in this in this episode I'm going to solve another algorithm on hacker rank but I'm going to use javascript and not php. So so I'll do another video on php but I'm focusing on javascript as at now. Okay so this is the the algorithm of the problem. It's it says this is a staircase of size n equals to 4 so this is the staircase they have given you example it says its base and height are both equals to n so the bed is the base and this is the height this is the height it says it is equals to n so meaning that if n is equals to 4 uh, we have four hashes okay so it says it draws it is drawn using hash symbols and spaces the last line is not uh, preceded by any spaces write a program that prints a staircase of size n so if n is equals to 4 um, we have the height is going to be 4 and then the base is going to be 4 and then they are explaining here we have more description here and then right here they give you a sample for, so for example if if n is equals to 6 they are expecting the base to have six hashes and then uh, this one the height to have also six hashes so if you look at this uh, it if you look at the combination of hashes and spaces it looks like a triangle that has been dissected okay diagonally so it's just like a triangle that has been dissected diagonal so if you look at this you can look at this and you see spaces which are not visible and then you have hashes which are visible so let's look at how we can do that and i have this um, i'm going to try it on replit.com i'm going to try the code and test it here because uh, it you can write it and test it right away here so for example if i just do console that log hey and if i run it you can see the results here okay so let's look at that problem it is to print a staircase okay and then um, the staircase is a combination of of spaces and hashes okay and then let's just look at some other point here the last line is not preceded by any hashes okay so the last line no hashes and you can see example is here okay example of the staircase you need to print is there okay so which concept do you want to use of course here you have the for loop that you want to to use uh, and for example if n let me just explain how it is working or how i think it is working so let me just copy the entire thing and come back here Mm, let me move that here so here this is n equals to one n equals to one you can see you have uh, one hash and two spaces all right and this one is n equals to two and when n is equals to two you can see they are printing one a uh, two two spaces and then uh, two spaces and two hashes so let me just comment uh, three spaces one hash and then when n is equals to two we have two spaces and then two hash hashes <laughs> okay and then when n 
equals to 3 uh, they are printing one space and three hashes and finally when n is equals to four uh, they are printing uh, uh, they are printing four hashes and no space okay so you can look at uh, you, if you look at it, you see a pattern. You see that um, the space starts. Um, the space starts from n minus one. Okay, so for, let's say that uh, it starts from n minus one and decrements down. So let's say, for example, n is equals to four in this case. So n minus one is equals to three, and it decrements by one as you go down, and then. Um, and then the hashes starts from i and also increments down now increments spaces decrement i increment so you can use that is you can do that using uh, for loop so just write that function so function print print staircase and we pass there n which is integer remember and we just loop through so for for let i equals to one so let's just start from one and then i is uh i is greater than or equals to is less than or equals to n okay because it should not it should not go beyond four okay and then i plus plus so just increment it and inside that for loop so here what you want to do is um is let's just try to console dot log i and then we'll call this function down here mm, print staircase and let's just pass the ten and see what it prints and run it and you can see it prints one to ten because the the value of n is ten so if we pass the twenty and run it again it is going to print from 1 to 20 so here we have a function called repeat so what we want to do is to repeat spaces so we'll just do this mm, just do let result equals to so what you want to do is we want to increase space that is space we have a javascript function called repeat so just repeat to repeat the numbers you specify here so let me just show you so let string equals to i am string and i just want to console that log i repeat so just want to repeat um, string so just the string dot repeat string dot repeat and we want to repeat it uh, let's say three times here okay so let's just run it here so you can see that string has been repeated three times one two three so basically repeat we help you to repeat a uh, string so here we repeat um result to repeat the string uh, how many times so when i equals to one for example we are going to repeat it uh n minus i okay so if n is 10 you are going to be it's going to be 10 minus i which is uh, one the first iteration which is going to be nine times so if n is equals to 10 we are going to read to the first iteration is going to to print spaces 10 times and then and we just want to re repeat the same at the same time we want to repeat hash how many times you build it right i times okay because you see i starts from one and it increments to 20 to whatever the value of n there okay that and that is it so if we try to console log that we just write console.log result you will see it printing the staircase so let me just uh, 
to remove this and test it and you can see it does it okay and if we reduce this to 5 for example and run it you can see it, it prints uh, five times and then it does it actually this is it and basically that is it that is how to solve that uh, algorithm i think i've gone step by step in a way that you can understand and let's just try this so we'll just copy from here just copy from there and go to hacker rank and go to the solution here and i'll just select javascript and paste there and first i'll run the code to test it and you can see it passes it passes meaning it is working correctly and i will now submit it and you can see and you can see okay it, you can see it went through <laughs> okay so basically that is how you solve the staircase algorithm and maybe in the next session i look at another algorithm